What is going on everybody? Boris here at your College of Design Studio and today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem I'm having in Premiere Pro and I've read over the forums and it seems like quite a few people are having the same issue. It looks like when you try to import a certain video file format such as AVI, the file does not import properly. Meaning some people the file doesn't import at all and for some it imports audio only and the video does not show. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I recorded a tutorial on how to best structure your resume recently using Cam Studio. It's a free video uh, desktop video recording software and I'll put the link online or in the, in the description of this video. But it records in either SWF for Flash or in AVI, Audio Visual Interface. And when I try to import, say for example, I try to drag this file and import it into my sequence, you'll see it gives me the circle with the red circle with a dash through it, meaning that's a no-no. You can't do it. And if I move it down just a little bit, you see it can import the audio, but it does not want to import the video. And that's a problem because that means we can't edit our file. There is an easy solution to this. Some people recommend using um, video converters like Squared 5 and other codecs. I personally have not had any luck with that option. I tried Squared 5. It uses QuickTime 7 or higher. And in order to get QuickTime 7 to work, you need uh, the XBID and the DivX codecs. And even then, I'm having some issues. So instead of dealing with all of that, I tried an option that I have not seen anywhere online. Click on it, click on Windows Movie Maker, and it will open your video file. If you see the content in there and it's not just a white screen, then it has worked. And if you see this little gray spikes, that's your audio. So both the video and the audio have opened well in Movie Maker. And what we want to do is save movie, and you want to save it recommend it for this project or if you want it to be in high definition you can choose this option for me they're identical so I choose this option we're going to name it 1N and I'm going to save it shouldn't take very long if your file is large it may take a while and there it is it's giving me the option to open it open the folder play it I'm gonna close it I want to close movie maker I don't want to save changes and as you can see I have my original clip that will not import only the audio will import and I have my new file and it's an mp4 a lot of people say that they've been having trouble importing mp4 files this one however was, has been saved as an mp4 h24 or h264 it's compressed but it should be able to you should be able to open it in Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas and edit it so let's try it drag it over and as you can see it works both the video and the audio are importing into Premiere Pro so let me drop it in there I want to keep my existing settings and there it is what's going on everybody Boris here at your college design studio so now I have both my video and my audio it's a bit of an unconventional approach I have not seen anyone use or recommend using Windows Movie Maker I've seen anything from, like I said, Squared 5 or VLC. I've tried both. They did not work for me. This did. So if you're having similar issues, I hope this works for you so you can get you on your way on your projects. That's it for this tutorial, folks. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. And as always, I'll see you next time on our Ecology Designs production. And today I want to show you how to create a nice background in Adobe After Effects. So today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to best structure your resume to make it stand out during the hiring process.